It's not no longer getting wobbled in your favorite game. It's yeah. just being wobbled in Vienna. That's in Vienna, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great mindset. <laughs> so moving in, uh, as for stages, usually we tend to see Fountain of Dreams. That's Timmy's favorite starter stage, from what he told me. Yeah. Because FD, you know, chain grab, it's pretty pesky, and Dreamland is just a tid bit too big, I'd say. Yeah, like this makes so much sense because I think both of these characters are good on this stage. Like the platform setup is amazing for Falco's combo extensions, and at the same time, the like in between platforms can lead to some nasty stuff for Peach as well. Yeah, namely that down smash. Yep, and obviously, you know, the extended ledges, meaning she can Peach Bomber. Yeah, Not a huge sure. factor, but a small thing that can help over a stage like Battlefield, for, sure. for instance. So right now we see Timmy opening up with quite the quite the combo or the string on Kellner, and Kellner finding trouble to get back. But now he's opening up Timmy for a lot of damage as well. Yeah, this is going to be really interesting to see how this plays out because Kellner loves to go in, and we see uh, yeah. Timmy with a smart laser down tilt to finish all that stock. But yeah, Kellner loves to go in and push buttons and shield pressure his opponents. But at the same time, Timmy's micro spacing yeah. is so good. So I wonder if he's even going to be able to set up these, you know, these extended flow cancel yeah. aerial strings. It's this classic narrative of the immovable object versus the unstoppable force exactly. here. Exactly. Ooh. Ooh! But breaks in the dress and gets hit for 40 yeah. damage. The metal skirt. <laughs> See, a power shield sets up an edge guard situation for Kellner, yeah. but the sweet spot, though. By Timmy. Very nice. Also, Ooh. Timmy. Ooh. Very patient, like, slowly floating <laughs> out there. <laughs> yeah. Peach can do that. <laughs> Now we see, again, Timmy choosing to scramble a lot. Oh, oh the Timmy. double dip already. <laughs> wow. Österreich Chen starting up in the crowd for that hype combo. And here we see again what you mentioned. You know, the in-between platforms allowing for combo extensions, like the double, like the double down air. Yep. Just sets up so well for Falco. Oh. Seeing if he could bait out an up tilt from Timmy there, but Timmy wisely shields instead. He's been there before, like you said, with Ares for the long time, longest time, like first seat or first rank in in yeah, uh, for sure in Austria. Yeah, amazing player. Ooh, edge cancel back air from uh, Kevin there. It doesn't really lead to anything though. And now we see the down air actually has really grand. Oh, but he gets clipped unfortunately. Oh, and good edge guard by Timmy. You know, Peach once her float's gone, she doesn't have that many options and. Timmy does a good rising downer for coverage. And now, oh. oh, and that's such good height. Timmy, such good control for early percents to make sure that Peach can't narrow out, combo break out of the, out of Timmy's combos. Oh, oh. Barely misses the shine off the oh. top there. And then catches his landing with an up tilt, with the humongous up tilt from Falco. <laughs> Lasers adding on a little bit more percent here. Bad situation for Kellner, but if he can take this stock, it's not impossible. Oh, the slow get up, oh. messing up his edge guard. Now. Oh, yeah. good. Oh, well, that was some crank DI. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. Kellner going for the Kellner special and doesn't hit it, but it does lead to the kill situation. So now Peach, you know, as a character, one touch of death. But Timmy, with his control, probably very good at not giving Kellner that one touch that he needs. Yeah, very patient. Oof. Yeah, was lucky not to get down smash after that first oh. aerial, but Timmy good prevails. Backer. So 1-0 for the immovable object. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. So... Do you think Kellner is going to go for Dreamland or FD here? Uh, I think I would say... I mean, he definitely wants more space, we see, because mm. he's been having trouble to move to maneuver around Timmy's stationary walling aerials and tilts. Yeah. I think the chain grab is just too strong to yeah. not go to FD. Yeah. It's just, you know, compared to uh, going there versus a fox, it's kind of a no-brainer, but with the Falco, it also presents some problems for Peach that it's hard to close the distance against Falco, you know, yeah. because of the lasers. Especially Peach, you know, being such a slow, grounded character. Ooh, but here we get the chain grab started up. Yeah, that's what he was chain hoping grab city. for. Ooh, misses Ooh, but it. Drops it, wow. Yeah, a rare flub here from uh, Kellner. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Terminal velocity down it. Uh, yeah. Up beat, up beat. When the flub leads to an opening. You know, that's just such nice damage. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh good back air by Timmy. Even though Kellner had the chain grab, Timmy takes the first stock. So now we see... Uh, what I've noticed a lot, you know, watching Timmy in his offline sets as well, Timmy has done a very good job at fighting out of corners. You know, despite Falco uh, being good at getting control, he somewhat struggles at missed distance to build up his own space, you know, especially with such a scrambling character as Peach. Yeah. And Ice Climbers, for example, when watching what he did against Doimling. But Timmy, 
You know, the invincible side B, also very good for coming back from ledge, really manages to find and reset to neutral, where FD, although the punish game is strong for Peach, the neutral is just as strong oh. for Falco. Yeah, and we've seen Kellner going for his namesake, like charge up smash by the ledge now, but twice, uh, whoa, Ooh. gets a kill out of nowhere, but uh, twice Timmy hasn't fallen for it, so I'm hoping to see some adaptation for Kellner, like, it's okay, it's cool that you have your, like, namesake move and everything, but yeah. if it's not working, stop going back to the well. <laughs> So now we see, again, Timmy is just so good in the corner and holding people in the corner. Oh, oh. and this could be bad. Yeah. Oh. And like you said, there was all the corner pressure there. It led to that gimp because Falco, once he start, has to start up being, he's in a world of pain if the Peach is anywhere close to him. Yeah, it really anything could just lead to a death. So now we see Timmy. Oh, and that. Oh, but he drops it again. So many, so many weird interactions here. And again, we see the weak back here, where Timmy, he just kind of is not ready for Kellner slowly falling down, where usually you would see an up tilt from Timmy. Yep. And now he's eating an entire chain grab for it, and Kellner does not seem like he wants to drop this one. Oh, and he does. Commentator's <laughs> curse at his finest. Thank you so much, guys. <laughs> oh, but oh, good up smash. up smash. I love that. I love seeing yeah. Falco's use up smash as a legit kill option. It works. Like, it's, it's so it's, underrated yeah, as well. Yeah, it's not Fox's up smash. It doesn't have to be. It's still good. Exactly, yeah. But Timmy... Take a deep, taking a deep breath for game two here, seeing if it can oh, oh, metal skirt, oh. as you mentioned before. Yeah. Snuck in, mm. though. That Back could have been throw. really bad for Timmy. It just nares in, and Kellner ready for it. Wisely jumps oh, the over the corner oh, pressure. Crouch cancels the down air. Very nice. These jabs. And again, the invincible side beam. Oh, but oh. that is... I think that could be... Oh! No. Very he drops smart. it and the crowd roars for yeah. boy Kellner. Looked like Kellner had a read that Timmy was going to refresh his frames there. Oh, and he was like, this wow. is my opening. This Still. calls him out with a with an aerial after aerial. And now we see the laser coming in hot for Timmy. Oh, Tim. and the tech! What a tech! Oh. Oh, this is the side beat. Oh, yeah. my God. And Timmy, by the skin of his teeth, scrapes out game two in yeah. his favor. He got the hard part and he missed the easy part. Timmy. Oh, well, yeah, it's that Kellner immediately said we're going back. Smirking, shaking his head, showing all the signs of, well, I would say, kind of looks like frustration, but let's yeah. see if Kellner manages to keep his composure, especially because that game was his, you know, if yeah. D being such a strong pick and Kellner being such a good player, and he's I expected to perform on such a strong stage. And I think he might be a little flustered because based on my ability to read lips, it looked like he was saying, I'm going back in English, and both of these are German speakers. Oh, <laughs> so, really? Yeah, so oh, that might mean he's, he's getting in his own head a little bit. Oh, no. Maybe he heard you. <laughs> Immediately, Kellner trying to make a statement here early on, but gets an unlucky reverse hit on that back air. And now Timmy with neutral. Get, oh, Ooh. good combo breaker by Kellner. Timmy yeah. kind of shrugs it off, saying, all right, I'll give you that one, Kellner. So here we see again a little bit of boxing coming in with good jabs, but good uh, shield DI by Timmy to escape the down smash and not get shield poked. Ooh. Oh, this is looking rough. Ah. He misses the angle. Yeah, I tried Arduino, the, where are you at? The, the thinnest of angles. Oh, and he DIs straight in and all the way to the heaven he goes. <laughs> These power shields making it tough for Timmy to... And I think that's literally the third crouch cancel in a row, isn't it? On the down smash. Yeah. So... It's catching him trying to shine or something. Oh. Gets called out. Yeah. Out of shield with an air. His high ledge hops uh, really uh, cost him. So Kellner seems to have found his composure and his game plan as well in FD. Oh, looking like a strong lead, but Timmy. Yeah, Timmy not about to go down without a fight. Oh, and good height. To, oh, and if you DI behind, that's a guaranteed down smash from Peach at low yeah. percent. Oh, but Timmy, Timmy waits, and he catches him up there. Oh, Clanks. Clanks usually usually good for Peach. Yeah. Going for a float in the air there, but didn't uh, look like he got the dash momentum leading into it. Oh, but good down air, uh, up tilt to catch. Counter coming down again. Oh! Paying dividends right now. Oh, but. Oh, that was a oh, good yeah. get up attack by Counter and Timmy. Yeah. 
it worked was, out. It worked out for Kellner there, but I was surprised he didn't just opt to like kill Timmy Tim. while they were both below the ledge there, because he could have kind of just dragged him down with him. But instead, he opted anything, for the ledge. Yeah. It, it paid off. But uh, if Timmy were to make it back from that, that, that was a moment to end the game right there, and yeah. he didn't, didn't really take it. But I ended mean, up. You know, a player of Timmy's skill level, I, f I feel like it'd be hard for Kellner's situation. You know, Peach having such strong aerials. Yeah, to fight down something. Air, you know. Oh, down yeah. air. That's smart. Just the you know, Fox down air using as that as an edge guard. But with Peach's slow double jump, I don't think she could have reached up there. Yeah, maybe not. Kellner probably knows better. Yeah. I'm not a Peach player. <laughs> <laughs> so now, Timmy, Yoshi's story. Yeah, this is uh, this is also a no-brainer right yeah, here. Yeah, for sure. Like, every other stage, Peach can live forever, provided she doesn't get dunked on. But on this stage, her survivability is quite limited because of the sh threat of the shine off the top. And the top platform is so good for Timmy on this map. Mm. No foul. Oh, but that's oh, yeah, that's, that's dangerous. It. And Kellner rocks, leans back in a seat. Not happy about that one. That's one of the good aspects to uh, Falco's recovery right there is that it comes out so fast. And when it does hit, it usually it puts your opponent in a terrible situation. And you know, Peach, usually known for her good recovery, but her upbeat does not gain Oh, oh wow. and there we see it. And that's a two quick ones. The, yeah. The inverted shine spike, as Frozen Light called it earlier. No, oh. no, no, no. This is the third time, Kilmer. <laughs> Still hasn't worked. Oh! oh! Very nice. So we see but Timmy with another huge oh. opening combo right now. So Dude, Kellner breaks out So again. good at stuffing the down airs from Timmy with, like, rising aerials. Making it seem really scary for Timmy to uh, put pressure on from straight above. Also making him think, oh, oh, wow. And that was good DI as well, so. All right, tournament stock here for Kellner. Timmy does not seem to be slowing down, so let's see if Kellner manages to uh, recollect himself a bit and try to eke out another game and bring it to game five. He has to uh, make something big happen here now. Wow. That's a good start, but oof. normally it's good for Peach to be trading, but not when you're down by oh. this much in a three stock and a fist bump, and Timmy moves on to uh, wow. top six, yeah. I want to say. Yeah, for sure. Timmy from Austria took the game three to one. The set one, and he's continuing on to top six in losers. Next up, another English showdown. Frenzy against Professor Pro. Let's see who can make it on top. Back to you on commentary, guys. <laughs> 